Hello, welcome back to Kentucky Home Garage. Uh, today I have 2006 Land Rover um, Sport, Range Rover Sport, and uh, with a 4.4 engine. And uh, I'm doing some uh, regular maintenance, changing belts and brakes. Uh, this uh, SUV has a code in a suspension system for a rear left uh, height sensor. This is a three, wheels, uh, three wire sensor, it has a 5 volt reference voltage, a signal wire, and the ground. And if you guys want to learn how to test these sensors, uh, Hall Effect sensors, uh, go to Scanner Danner uh, channel and there's a tons of material uh, explain how to uh, test these sensors. But I, should, I guys want to show you my method of uh, testing the sensor. So um, basically what we need to check, uh, we turn the key on uh, and we hook up our scan tool and uh, we will uh, check our 5 volt reference voltage. Uh, we back probe the connector and look for the 5 volt reference voltage. Then we're going to check the ground and then we have to address our signal wire, which is kind of sometimes it can be very frustrating. Uh, now, if you check the 5 volt reference voltage, if you don't see the 5 volt reference voltage, uh, then it could be open, it could, it could be short to ground, so we have to address that circuit. Uh, and the same, same with the ground side. Now, the, our uh, signal wire, <coughs> uh, the, way we, we, the, the way it can be done is basically we can uh, jump our 5 volt, 5 volt to our uh, signal wire with a jumper wire and uh, if we see a 5 volts on our scan tool then we know that we have a good uh, signal wire it's intact it's not open or short to ground now by doing this uh, there is a potential that we can actually fry the computer uh, if our if our um, signal wire is shorted to ground and we jump our 5 volt reference voltage to our signal wire that's short to ground we actually can act we can actually short our computer so a scanner then explained this very well, what we can use, we can use a 5,000 ohms resistor, put it in between and the resistor is going to uh, act like a buffer and it will not pull our reference voltage down. And uh, if, we, if we read 0 volts uh, on our signal wire at that point, we know we have a short to ground. And uh, that's great, I mean that. Now, I, I'm using different method. <clears throat> to to um, address my uh, uh, signal wire, I'm using actually an ohmmeter. Um, and um, the ohmmeter basically sends a, a, a small amount of voltage uh, across the uh, component that we uh, uh, check in the resistance on, coil, uh, injector, whatever, and by looking at the uh, voltage drop difference in, in, a, in a voltage drop, uh, it can actually figure out, you know, what is the resistance on that component. Now, uh, for this test, uh, um, uh, what I like, what I use is uh, Vantage Pro, the old Vantage Pro MT2400, I believe. Uh, yeah, MT2400. And uh, <clears throat> in this mode, uh, it's on a continuity here. In this mode, actually, this unit uses a 5 volts. So uh, I'll show you this guy. Uh, guys. So uh, this is my uh, Vantage Pro. It's on the, um, on the uh, continuity. And uh, I hook it up. Uh, lead on it to my voltmeter and it's 4.97 volts. So what I do, I use this mode and basically I will uh, put my ground lead to ground and my uh, positive lead, I will touch my uh, signal wire and I'm looking at the data at the computer and if my voltage goes up to 5 volts then I know my, uh, my um, signal wire is, is okay. Uh, if uh, I'm reading zero volts and uh, if I don't see any resistance reading, if I, if I, uh, uh, if I have, have a, a, a infinity or over, over the limit, then I know that I basically have an open because if I have any short to ground, uh, I'm going to have some kind of uh, resistance that, that will my uh, ohmmeter is going to read. So um, I hope this makes sense. Uh, uh, and... Uh, this is very effective and very safe way of checking a signal wire. Now, not every unit, not every ohmmeter is going to use a 5 volts. Uh, some might use 3, 2.5, 3.5, it doesn't really matter. Uh, which you, you just need to know what is your particular unit, what kind of voltage is using, and uh, like, like, let's see what this, uh, this yellow, uh, uh, let me see here. 
gonna check uh, like uh, this particular unit see this yellow ohmmeter I don't even know what is the um, brand I have no idea uses actually uh, three and a half volts 3.47 but you still can use it it's not, there's no difference you don't have to have five volts you just uh, you connect this uh, unit uh, you put it on, on the on the continuity you know touch your touch your signal wire and you want to see a uh, 3.47 um, it might be a slight voltage drop like a 3.4 volt, uh, three, uh, that's fine. 3.4 volts, if you have maybe 10, 5 or 10 volts, uh, millivolts of voltage drop, that's fine. So uh, either ohm meter is going to work on this. And it's very effective, very safe. Uh, you can't damage the computer. If you have a short to ground, you're simply going to have uh, some kind of a, a res resistance reading on your, on your, uh, on your unit. So, uh, well, let's, uh, I'm going to get you down to uh, wheel. We're going to get the scan tool, pull the uh, trouble code, and um, do some testing. All right. Okay, guys, um, this might be a little bit dark in this garage. It's, it's that I'm recording this at night, but here's my trouble code uh, rear left height sensor mechanism. And uh, I'm at the uh, rear left wheel, and uh, here is the sensor. It's a, it's a three wire sensor. Uh, the, uh, uh, this yellow wire is ground, the middle wire, orange and yellow, I believe it's, I think it's orange and yellow, yellow, that is my signal wire, and the orange is my 5 volt reference voltage, 5, five volt, yeah, 5 volt reference. Uh, one thing that I didn't mention, you know, if you unplug this sensor and you see 5 volts at your, at your signal wire, then you're good, the, the, the computer has an internal resistor, and uh, it sends the um, uh, bias voltage and uh, if you see 5 volts there you're, you're, you don't have to do any of this but if you unplug the sensor and you see 0 volts then you have to check your, your signal wire so uh, I'm gonna get the camera on the tripod and uh, I'm gonna start checking these wires and see what we got okay guys this is my setup I have my uh, sensor unplugged I have a, uh, my ohmmeter hooked up to a, uh, my signal wire and uh, as you can see right now, we are reading a. Uh, oh, sorry, it's just too dark. The, okay, this, this is my rear left height sensor, okay? And it's at zero volts right now. My. Uh, it's the low battery on it. My ohm meter reads uh, out of open loop. Now, it's, it's actually it's unplugged right now. I'm sorry, this is going to be a bad video, but. Now, when I. Uh, Let's, let me show you what I'm doing. It's just really dark. So here my, my lead is connected to my to my signal wire right now. Sensor is in, unplugged and when I uh, connect my uh, connect my lead you can see my my voltage goes up to 5 volts. Okay? So it goes down to 4 but There you go again. Again, five volts off, zero volts, five volts. So now this tells me that my uh, signal wire is is okay, and uh, if I have a uh, if I have a uh, you know short to ground or something, I'm going to have some kind of reading, and I'm over the limit here. That's I'm having a low battery. Stupid thing. So. Um, so right now I'm checking my, um, this is like within one shot, I can check my short to ground and, and, uh, and open. So it, of course, you see, I, I, I don't have any resistance, that means I'm not short to ground. And when I, you know, and I, I'm reading 5 volts at my, at my, uh, on my scan tool, and I know that I, that I, am, that I don't have an open. So uh, this is a very, very effective uh, way of uh, checking these circuits. So let's do one more time. Five volts. Plugged in. Unplugged. Zero volts. Five volts. So now, if you have a unit 
that has that doesn't use a 5 volts and use a 2.5 volts or 3 volts, it doesn't really matter as long as you have the correct voltage that that ohmmeter sends, you're good. I mean, that's all you need to do. Now, the other two um, tests I have to do, I have to check my uh, ground wire and my uh, 5 volt reference uh, voltage and I'm just going to plug the sensor back in and check that. I want to check that with the uh, with, uh, uh, circuit loaded and uh, and I get this to volts. Okay, guys, here's my uh, 5 volt reference voltage, 4.93. And uh, I have a similar hard time to get to my wires. And then uh, here's my ground. There you go, 20 millivolts. So we are good there. There you go. All right. So. Uh, I think this is it. I mean, in this uh, car needs the new sensor. We got a good ground. We got a five volt reference voltage. Our signal wire is fine, and uh, it needs a new sensor. All right, guys. Uh, I think this was informative. Or some, you know, this can be used to uh, test the signal wire this way. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. And uh, and uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.